This video covers Power SDR 2.7.2 KE9NS Revision T11 and I've just added a new feature which is um, uh, a beacon scanner and you get to it by the spotter window open it up and down here you've got some new boxes here and um, these will scan through when I activate this feature it's going to show you 18 stations there's a few that are off the air there's some little uh, negative marks next to them that indicate the ones that are off the air currently but there's 18 stations five frequencies and it goes round robin these are the locations of all the the 18 stations purple indicates the ones that are transmitting right now at the moment you have to make sure your PC uh, clock is accurate so that it matches up uh, but but that's the if it's synced up right then these will be transmitting exactly when they say they're transmitting uh, you can go to the NCD XF web page and, and get more information on it but right now it's just doing nothing but showing you which ones are transmitting it's not doing anything else when you activate one of these features it'll actually start listening uh, I've got a slow one which would simply listen to one frequency let's say the 28 meter band uh, or 28 megahertz it would just listen on that for three minutes which is the time it takes to scan around the whole all 18 stations and then it adds the data to to this window here right now there's there's no signal data but it would appear when we start scanning uh, and you can select the band you want to start on uh, whether you want to start on 20 meters or 10 meters right now it would be starting on 10 it would just do 10 meters and 10 meters only it takes three minutes to do that one band the other al alternative if you want to do all the bands is this fast scan you click on the fast button and now it waits for the next 10 second increment and then it'll start to go so now I can minimize it and now it's actually changing frequencies one a second with a five second wait for the next and then that's cataloging signal strength and the noise floor of each uh, state you know each group so it's actually checking all five frequencies simultaneously and then it puts it in here as signal data so the United Nations station I only had an S1 and basically it was 8 dB above the noise floor so it's basically uh, Right now it's the evening, pretty much the high, all the high frequencies are just dead right now. But it's cataloging signal strength and the number of dBs above the noise floor. And then of course you get the beam headings based on your latitude, longitude, uh, grid number. And at the same time it puts you into CW upper and it narrows everything down so it's just a few hertz above and below the carrier the CW carrier so it can pick up just the carrier and then as it's going through you can hear clicking my antenna because it changes antennas on the band like again the purple is what's actually transmitting right now the gray means it hasn't checked that yet uh, for signal strength and then red would mean it couldn't hear it uh, yellow would mean a very very weak signal almost red there's an orange signal in between a little bit stronger uh, and then um, a green signal if you actually got you know a good strong signal out of it and again it's just looking for energy uh, in that passband which is extremely narrow uh, just a hundred Hertz um, 100 Hertz wide and then it just keeps going until it cycles through all 18 stations uh, takes three minutes and then it shuts itself off and puts you back into the mode and the band with you had prior to going into into the mode and then uh, at that point all this will be full of signal data uh, see right now there's patches it still needs to go and you can stop it at any time you know you can disable it at any time uh, you can just turn off the scanner if you want and leave this on it'll continue to move but now I've come out I've come out of the uh, of the actual scan so I can go about my business do whatever you want to do but this stays up on the screen until I actually get out of the uh, the beacon and now I'm out and I can enable my normal tracking window if I want um, 
and shortwave spots and enable the DX cluster. The cluster's got to be off when you're doing the beacon. Uh, map can be on, doesn't matter, but the, but the cluster has to be in the off position in order you to run the beacon. Uh, B 